Now, tensions between a Nigerian Shia Muslim group and authorities is rising after a court granted permission to label the Islamic movement of Nigeria a terrorist organization. Security forces have clashed violently with the group as they took to the streets of Abuja to call for the release of their leader, Ibrahim El Zakizaki. Authorities have held El Zakizaki in custody since deadly clashes in 2015, despite a court order for his release. On Monday, a Nigerian judge ruled El Zakizaki could seek medical treatment abroad. Timothy Hobezo has more from Abuja. Maymuna Dauda's three children were among more than 350 Shiite Muslims killed in Zaria city in December 2015. They were members of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, or Ayaman, a conservative sect wanting Islamic law. Violence broke out when members of the group tried to block a military convoy. The military cracked down hard on the Ayaman, accusing it of trying to kill the Nigerian army chief. I got a call from my daughter that the military had shot her in the stomach and her sister in the head and set the leader's house where they were hiding on fire. When I called back, I could no longer reach them. They had burned with the building. Authorities arrested Ayman leader Ibrahim El Zagzaki and his wife. They have been detained since, despite court rulings for their release. Their supporters' sporadic protests and security crackdowns have left tens of people dead. This government doesn't want to free Sheikh Ibrahim Zezeki. They want him dead. As they tried killing him in his house, God did not allow them. Now, they keep him in their custody. Police blame the Islamic movement of Nigeria for the violence. We've seen protesters attack, carry out unprovoked attack on law enforcement officers, who are on legitimate national assignment. Zagzaki is facing murder charges for the death of a soldier killed in the 2015 clashes. He founded the Islamic movement of Nigeria in the late 1970s and claims to have two million members. They have become like a law unto themselves. In Zaria, where their political spiritual leader used to live, they constituted themselves into serious public nuisances. No responsible government can watch when public order is being breached. A Nigerian court in late July granted permission to label the Ayaman a terrorist organization, further raising tensions with the Shiite sect. The Islamic movement of Nigeria rejected the label, and observers expect further protests, clashes, and victims. Timothy Yobiezu for VOA News, Abuja.